Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am doing a super simple, super easy, everyday makeup look. And this is pretty much what I do if I just want to throw something on, get out the house very fast. Most of the time when I go to the gym, this is my face and I did not use a lot of products. Matter of fact, is this everything I used? I cannot believe this is it. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products to achieve the look that I did today. So if you are a minimalist and you want your face to just look a little more alive, better, put together, just getting into makeup and want to try something not too much, this is it. I'm not going to talk too much. I want to get into the tutorial. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Join the family. We do makeup, hair, nails, a little bit of fitness, all that good stuff related to beauty. And let's jump into how the, to achieve this very easy, put together, minimalist makeup look. <laughs> So we're going to jump straight into this video. Today I'm doing just a Shop My Stash all black owned or black founded makeup brand. So everything is in here is for us, made by us. Thank you very much. And I just want to do like a super easy, super quick, put together everyday face. I know some people just want to start getting into makeup and they feel like it's too many steps and too many products. So I'm going to take y'all through what I do basically to go to the gym, look put together so I can make my little YouTube videos and my Instagram reels and all that stuff. So I always start off with a primer that helps your makeup last longer. The primer I'm using today is the Beauty Bakery. This is their Hydra Silk um, primer. So we're just going to start off with this real quick. And I put this all over my face, especially in areas where I tend to sweat a little more or my makeup breaks up because this helps everything go on smooth and it helps it stay on a lot longer. So I normally let that sit for a couple minutes and then I move on to my foundation. Now keep in mind, primer is not necessary. Like I said, it's something that I do because I want my makeup to last. You don't have to use it. If you don't have one, don't go out and buy one. Just make sure you prep your face wash, moisturize, you're good. For the foundation that I have been using pretty much anytime I wanna just throw on and go, it's the Black Opal True Color Skin Perfecting Stick Foundation. I have mine in the shade Nutmeg. I freaking love this. This was in my makeup bag, my travel bag, and I took it out for this video. I take this, I basically just put a few stripes all over my face. I put a little more in the areas I need more coverage a little less in the places that I don't, and that is it. I love how easy this blends out, and the color match is really good for me. And then I just take my foundation brush and I start lightly, I tap it in the areas where I want it to be more coverage, and then like my forehead where I don't feel like I need it as much, I just buff it into circles. But as you can see, this is pretty much almost all blended out, and the coverage is great. The color match is great, and this is a very easy, simple step. And for some people, this may be all you need to do, but I have dark circles that I'm going to cover. But again, this is all going to be super fast and quick. If you do not feel comfortable with a cream or a liquid and you just want to do a powder, you can do that too. It's not as much coverage. It's more just to even your skin out if your skin is better. I find that this is faster if you need more coverage and you don't have to keep trying to build the powder up. Now for concealer, when I'm doing a lighter coverage day, I like to go with something that is closer to my skin tone and just a little brightening. I'm using the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I have this one in the shade DN3. I also have it in the shade TN6. And so you see how this is almost the color of my skin? It's just basically hiding those under eye circles, making me look more refreshed and awake. So I'll put that on my under eye and I also put it on my lid. And I do that because I have dark spots, dark circles, dark 
pigmentation, whatever, on my eyelids too. And I really just want everything to be nice and even. This is literally almost the color of my skin. But if you noticed in the beginning of the video, and if you look at your face, it is not all just one color. You have highs, you have lows, you have contours, shadows. So when you put a foundation, it pretty much just makes everything a mask. And so now we're bringing the dimension back to our face. This is very important if you want your makeup to look natural. I get sometimes people say, oh, I don't want all them steps, but honey, you also don't want to look like you have a mask on. So I just blend this out and I'm very just like, whatever with it but you can see the difference that made already and i love that concealer because it is nice coverage it is brightening now i ain't gonna lie because i'm extra this ain't bright enough for me but like i said every day easy makeup this gets the job done for your under eyes and anywhere you want to highlight you want to get a powder that is a little brightening especially if your concealer is this close to your skin tone I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. This is in a banana shade. Yes, banana. Um, I will take this on a brush and I will put my brush in it, tap off the excess, and then I will start, I'm gonna make sure I ain't got no creasing. Very important, you do not wanna set creases. So make sure this is nice and smooth and then hurry up and put your powder. You wanna put it on the lid and underneath the eye and I tend to be a little heavier with this just because I want it to be brightening and also because I want to make sure nothing creases so you can see the difference that that made on this side of my face versus this side and it's going to help lock everything in I'm also going to take that powder and I'm going to put it on my forehead because again this is another area that we want to bring light to because that is normally the dimensions of our face and then also to help slightly slightly give us a nose contour I put it on the bridge of my nose if you got a small nose already and you don't need to do that don't do that so I also like going back and pushing it in with my sponge this is an extra step that I take you do not have to do but again I'm just showing you guys how easy this is and it does not take a lot of products. If I think that the product is might get a little oily on me and I want it to stay a little longer, then I put a finishing powder over it. Most of the time I go like this. So we're not gonna put a finishing powder, but that is another step. If you have oily skin, I highly recommend doing. Next, I move on to bronzer. To me, bronzer is a must. You can say what you want, but especially if you feel like like right now, I still feel like this looks like a mask. So I wanna bring some dimension back into my face. I just take a big brush, I dip in, I'm using the Minted Cosmetics Bronzer. This is in the shade Yacht Life. I start on my forehead because number one, we got a five head and we want to make that a little bit smaller or appear smaller, so you darken it. And that's how you just kinda of make it not be as prominent and you see, like, I think, there you go. Got some dimension, got some temples, got some hairline coming back. I take this along my cheekbones because naturally you have a little bit of a shadow here if you got cheekbones. Who doesn't want cheekbones? So we're going to go ahead and put those back. I feel like this is a necessary step. Sometimes I put blush. With this bronzer, it is a little more red. So sometimes I just go like this, but we know I love blush. So nine times out of 10, I'm gonna add some blush. I do also take this on the sides of my nose just to help contour that a little more or add some more dimension, not necessarily contour. I gotta be careful with that word. And then I put it on my jawline just to help because again, you see there's a shadow there. So everything is just bringing back the way our face is naturally shaped and how it naturally looks but now it's a little bit more flawless a little more perfected next step that is also a must for me i have hooded eyes i like for there to be a defined crease so i take a fluffy brush and it is a any kind of fluffy brush not anything special but i like this one because it is pointed at the end and i go into my bronzer 
and I just put that in my crease. It helps to bring back some dimension in my eye so that it doesn't just look like the puffy mess that it sometimes is. And just makes it look like you tried a little bit, but you really didn't. I don't do anything else to my eyelids. This is literally it. And I just blend that into the crease. And then I go around the edges to just kind of blend it out so it's not a harsh line. And that is it. The next necessity, tame your eyebrows. Eyebrows frame your face. Everything looks so much more neat and put together. I'm using the Uoma Beauty Frow To Go. This is their brow pencil and highlighting powder all in one. Love that this is a two in one product. So you have a spoolie here on this side. Then you have your brow pencil on this side. And then when you unscrew, you also have a powder here. So if you do brows a lot, then you can use all three of those. But again, we're just doing quick, quick, quick. And I'm trying to talk to y'all as I'm doing this so you can see how easy it is. When I'm doing this, I don't care if my brows look super defined. I don't want that. I'm just trying to make them even and make everything look filled in and shaped, but it's not like super sculpted and sharp and all that good stuff. We want just a nice put together brush through to make sure everything looks filled in. This is all I do. It helps that I do have a natural shape to my brows already. So I kind of know like what to fill in, how to fill in, but I can also transform the way my brows look and make them more arched, to make them look more carved, sculpted, more bushy, whatever I want. Now I'm gonna show you the powder on this real quick if you decide to get this. If you fill in the front of your brows too much, you can come back in with this powder and then just kind of put this also underneath your brow bone to help kind of highlight and give it a little bit of an arch. Look at the difference between my brows. You see how much of a difference that makes already? We're almost done. So I'm gonna fill in my other brow and then we're gonna finish this face real quick because we got places to go. Now this next step, I personally feel is mandatory. I used to never do this. And then I started realizing how crazy it looked when I did and when I didn't. So mascara makes you look more awake, makes your eyes look more open and just, it looks good, trust me. So today I'm using my Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras to use because it is very dark and it brings a lot of dimension to your eyes. And I don't like to wear eyeliner all the time on my top lid, on my top lid. Normally if I'm doing eyeliner, I'm doing a wing. Ain't much in between. So what I will do is I will put this on my lash line and I'll press it so that some of the mascara can get on my lash line and darken it a little bit. And that just helps give some more dimension. And then I will just load this up with as much or as little as you want. I just love how that looks. So you can see the difference that that makes. I never know which way to look to make it look like <laughs> my lashes are showing, but you get the drift. So I put this on my top and bottom lash line. I do not put any kind of other eyeshadow or anything unless I'm just being extra today. We're not. So top and bottom lashes and you're ready to go. So last step for me after I've done all this is I got to put something on my lips. Honestly, sometimes <laughs> I forget because I just be ready to go, but today we're not forgetting. I like to line my lips with a brown liner. On days like this, I go more of a kind of nude, I guess similar to the color of the outside of my lips. You see they already are a little darker. I just want to even everything out. I'm using the Colored Rain Lip Liner in the shade Decadent. I really like this one because it is brown. but I don't feel like it's too, too dark. So it still gives me a natural look. I can wear this with a lip gloss or I can wear it with a lipstick. Like I don't feel like when I wear this, it looks like I'm doing too much with my lips. And I line and tend to fill in a little bit just because it helps everything blend better. And then last, you can go in with a lipstick, you can go in with a gloss, whatever you want. Most of the time I use a gloss. Today we're gonna do one of these Fenty lip creams because why not? And I'm using the shade, ooh, or that small. 
Gloss Balm Cream in Fenty Glow. I don't even know if I've worn this yet. Nope, has not been opened. And so we're just gonna put a little bit of that. Mm, that's pretty. And that is it. So this is my full face. I wanna look put together. I wanna look like I tried a little bit, but I don't wanna look like I have a ton of makeup on. Now, if y'all feel like this is a ton of makeup, go watch some of my other videos. But I feel like this was really easy, not a lot of steps, very beginner friendly. So if you're just getting into makeup and you're not sure, like you don't wanna buy all this extra stuff, start with these basics and then go from there. I hope this video helped you if you're new on your makeup journey or if you want something that's a little more simplified. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts. And if you liked it and you wanna see more makeup content, please hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.